Stefan Schmidt wanted to um, make a brief comment about um, an assignment that we gave you to watch a video that's somewhat unusual and I wanted to put it into context. It, it's basically about a project to um, crochet um, a, a coral reef. And it is, I think, it's pretty fascinating because there is a lot of discussion about uh, science and especially mathematics in that uh, particular um, video that's that's uh, in there for you this week. Um, the project itself, and I've seen all of the the project when it first came out. It was exhibited at the Museum of Modern Art in uh, New York City, uh, and it's a stunning uh, and beautiful piece of, of artwork. Um, and yet there's a lot of science behind it. The reason I wanted to comment on it is because we just got uh, through having a conference um, at the Oceanographic Center in, in Dania Beach. Um, Governor Chris of Florida uh, came to the meeting because it was a briefing on the uh, new proposed um, Coral Reef uh, Center, which is going to be a magnificent center. The building is gorgeous. It's going to vastly increase the amount of research that's done uh, at the at the Oceanographic Center. Uh, it'll be the premier uh, coral reef research facility in the world uh, for for a while. And what was so fascinating when we were there at the meetings was that um, there was a very interesting interaction between Governor Christ and the stakeholders who had been invited. Paul Schmidt is working on a, a, a short video of that particular briefing, um, and, and you'll be able to see Governor Christ's comments on why uh, he thinks uh, oceans uh, and, and, and beaches and the whole coastal environment is so important, and, and you'll find that interesting. I also shot some video of a presentation that was done um, by uh, Richard Dodge, D Dick Dodge, the Dean of the Oceanographic Center. But, but what was interesting was that everyone was aware that you have to bring in all kinds of different actors and you have to build public support and enthusiasm for a project such as that coral reef uh, facility. Uh, because it costs a lot of money, people want to know how their money is spent, and so you have to make sure that you have the, the what I call a coral reef culture behind such a project so that politicians and policymakers can feel comfortable uh, answering questions about it or even maybe selling it and saying, I was responsible for bringing this here. Popular culture is something that I want to integrate much more into our coastal policy classes. Uh, popular culture is, you know, music, dance, food, movies, television, the internet, uh, everything that has mass uh, consumers in it, and a lot of it is based on on art um, and and on and on music, and it can have a huge impact on decision making, policy perceptions, and the perception of the public about certain issues. Think of the impact of the movie Jaws, which some of you may have seen, but which is a classic movie, on people's perceptions of sharks, for example. Uh, before that movie, people might have been afraid of sharks, but that movie created a culture of terror about sharks that still persists. The, the news media is always reporting on every shark bite, on every major shark sighting, uh, and it has created this culture that does not understand the shark for what it really is, a, a, a top predator, one of the most important and interesting critters out there in the ocean, but instead it's seen as this monster that is after human beings and you got to kill them all or, or catch them and get a prize for, for catching them. Very destructive um, pop impact of popular culture on, on sharks and even on swimming. You know, people are afraid to swim often even if there are no sharks because they remember seeing that movie or other scenes where there are things underwater that want to get you. The coral reefs are the same. Uh, coral reefs uh, are, are there, they're fragile, they're important. Uh, of course, Nemo, the movie, the, the Disney movie, um, had a major impact on, on sort of a popular uh, appreciation of, of reefs. In some respects, they put in some nasty 
sharks, although they were kind of nice, nasty sharks as well. Um, but I think events such as the this this wonderful project to basically crochet this very complex coral reef and then exhibit it around the country and take people to see it and, and have them understand what a reef is, is an important part of coastal zone management and coastal policy. Because part of what we have to do is go out there and we have to educate these people here in, 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 in South Florida and in other parts of the country about what the coasts are, how, how they operate and why people should care about them and be, be good stewards of them why it is important to preserve them, that they not only um, are beautiful, we want people to remember how beautiful the, the ocean, the coasts are, the palm trees are, the, the, you know, the dunes and the sea grasses and all of those wonderful creatures that, that are up and down the coast, the sea turtles and birds and so on. We want them to appreciate those for their aesthetic um, value. And then we also want to have people understand that those places are economically gold like a gold mine for people living in the vicinity, for people doing business and living there, and, and they therefore ought to be preserved and enhanced, if nothing else, because they are so valuable in a, in a real sense. And, and when I get to editing that little short presentation that Dick Dodge did about uh, coral reefs, especially coral reefs in Florida, I'll put that in and you can take a look at that as well because I think he made an incredibly compelling case for how vital um, the coral reefs are for, in this case, the economy of Florida. That's certainly true of the economies of other countries in the world, of the Caribbean, in the South Pacific, in Asia, in Thailand, and, and in all kinds of other places where there are coral reefs. And therefore, if you can convince people that these are both beautiful and valuable, you can then develop public policy, coastal zone management, marine protected areas, and other, and, and other uh, processes and structures that may interfere with people's lives a little bit, but that they understand are worth um, sacrificing something to preserve and, and enhance. Uh, and so I just wanted to call your attention a little bit to this issue of popular culture and um, in this particular case, coral reefs. Hope everything is going well with you and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the internet.